Okay, hello, here's another beautiful Technics turntable. This is an SL1210 MK5. Like always, I'll be showing you around, I'll be showing you in detail, and uh, I like to go deep on my turntables, so let's start. Uh, this is a model that did not came with, uh, with hinges or receptacles originally from the factory. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think these models, uh, I have two of these, are made in 2009. Uh, I, I've done some uh, further inspections on these two turntables and I think, uh, and I believe that these are 2009. I thought these were 1999, but no, these are the newer versions uh, from 2009 with uh, high output RCA cables, which it sounds fantastic. They, they had high output cables before not because they're made in 2009 that was something special no it is special on the 1210 mk5 models and some 1210 mk2 models as well they some of them feature high, high output rca cables which, which they, they sound fantastic so i think this is a 2009 and 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 just expect the best, the best quality, the best sound, the best power, because it's a 1210 MK5. This is a beautiful turntable. So let me start here. Okay, let me turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. Pop of lights really smooth. Just look at that. Pitch is really nice. It seems like it, it has never been used before. You know, these turntables were used just for photo shoots and, and showcasing purposes and things like that. They, they, they were both, I mean, I'm talking about this one. This one was inside uh, a one of those circular showcasing cabinets with, uh, we, it was like, uh, like spinning all the time, you know, it was just going around in circles and just showcasing purposes that was never used at all. There's a couple of scratches, a couple of things on the corners. I'll, I'll be showing you everything. I have a ultra HD camera, so I'm going to show you absolutely everything and I'll go as deep as I can. It comes with this rubber mat, which is a slim rubber mat and uh, this little... Uh, slim film like a plastic film that goes underneath the mat and it has the Technics sticker you know some people like it some people don't so that's how it came and it was it was of course it was just uh uh use uh for showcasing purposes so the sticker has been there for a long time so it's not like i just stick that on it so no Okay, I'm gonna start on this corner here. I'm gonna take advantage of the light. There's light, enough light coming in. Okay, let's start now. As you can notice, there's a couple uh, stains here. That's because of the dust cover. The dust cover has been on top of the turntable for several years. So this uh, this is very this is really really typical. You know, it might be caused by the dust cover rubber bumpers or just the dust cover uh, edges and that's it some, sometimes we might be able to see some drops pain drops or things like that because as usually mentioned the corners are where, are where the uh, uh, paint job seals at you know, so you can see drops or little dings, things like that on, on the corners, so. And re really nice. The turntable is in mint conditions. Just look at that platter. That's just beautiful. Let me go really slowly here and show you everything.
there's a scratch in here so that's the only one that's visible it's right here right there that's the only scratch that the turntable has uh, which is visible There's a couple drops in here, like paint drops, as you can see. Let me try to... There we go. Most of these things we cannot really see it with our own eyes. It's just, I mean, we are actually able to see those things through the camera because it's, it's an ultra. HD camera so we can see those things but I cannot see them with my own eyes here this here up this up here are like drops paint drops or some factor imperfection here there's a couple tiny scratches and things like that you know but nothing major it's a turntable that has never been used before it's been just to use as uh, for showcasing purposes that's it okay here's the pitch Pitch is really good as well. These lines are really common here on the pitch on the on, on the dark pitches. This is really really common because this is a decal, you know. You if you take a deep look at the the call you know you can see that it has never been used before this this uh these models uh, you know the dark models the decals look like some sort of it looks to me like uh like some sort of wood you know i really dig these decals the dark ones they look like wood you know the, the silver ones look like al aluminium or al aluminum you know And this is it has like a like a wood finish feel and I, I like that that's pretty cool but you can see it has never been used before otherwise it would have been full of scratches and lines all, all up and down this is just dust super clean pitch now let's go this way now start here in the corner Tiny scratch right here. Well, that's like a that's that's just from the factory because it's full of paint. If it would have if it would have been a, a darker or or silver, you know, that 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 looked, uh, you know, if it would have looked like like a like silver, like like you, you like you've been hitting it or something like that, or like it was caused by something else other than the factory, it, it wouldn't been filled up with the, the color you know with the original color so those little things those little imperfections come from the factory so so you can see a couple stains you know another tiny little thing right there just that's just how it comes from the factory I'm not able to see those things at all with my own eyes I mean all those things are being picked up by the camera and the stains they, they can be wiped off you know these all these stains can be wiped off you can wipe them off and and that's it it's just I just clean them up with an electric duster I don't I don't do anything else to my turntables so. And you have to be careful when you clean these turntables because they're the paint is really delicate. You know, the paint is really cool. If you if you're gonna clean it with some agents or things like that, just don't do it because then you're gonna stain these turntables. So just with a rack, a dry rack, and that's it. Then they will look amazing because of the finish. The finish is the finish is amazing. It's just like a like a like a very dark color, and um, I really I really dig this this color. For example, here you can see that the uh, 
the tone and weight reflects on the on the plinth. See that? That's how clean it is. It's really clean. These are reflections from the tone arm. This one and this one. So you can see. Look at it. Right there. That's the weight reflecting on, on the plinth. Here as you can see a couple of dings as well. Those are factory dings and things that come from the factory. A couple imperfections, things like that. There's a couple of stains here, but like millimetrical stains. Those are caused by the dust cover. There you go. See that? Right here. This is the serial number. I think this is a 2009. These are the modern versions. Just look at that platter. That's beautiful. I'm, now I'm going to show you the uh, tone arm. So you can see it's really clean. Just look at this. There we go, there we go, there we go. I like to get really, really close. You can see that. Uh, the, see those things? Uh, those things that are coming up and down, like they're appearing and they're they, like, like a. Like a like on and off you see that that's actually the machine process on the tone arms they sometimes reflect if you go really deep you can see them they're not that like solid you know if you touch this you, you can feel things you know like that's i'm sure positive that that's caused by the machinery you know by the machine process you know when they're when, when they are um, made these things you know there's some uh, lines, millimetrical lines here that you can feel with your own fingers. And sometimes you can capture those with the, with the camera. Like in this case, we were, we were capturing them for some time. There we go. See, they look like they're on and off. That's it. That's the real uh, surface of those materials. They're not that... Uh, that flat that's actually the real surface look at this mint 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 I really love how that looks Extremely clean, and really nice. Hmm, there's a lot of helicopters something might have happened so they've been flying for like 20 minutes or something like that something happened okay really nice you know, I love when the bearings and you know and, and, and the screws are shiny and, and they look fantastic. I love that. Really, really nice. Okay, just check this platter. Just 
just look at that. Amazing platter, just fantastic. So this angle, I love this angle. When there's a lot of light coming in, you can see absolutely everything on this angle. There's more light out oh, here. Let me show you something here. See this reflection right here? That's the tone arm on these two. That's how clean it is. It's really clean. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. Eastern table is just beautiful. Okay, now let me start here in this corner and show you the rest. You can see here a couple tiny scratches right here. It's one in here. And here's a stain that you might not be able to capture that. That's a tiny stain, tiny scratch in here. This is dust. This dust. Just look at that platter. And most of the time there's scratches in here. You know, I, I put this plastic here, this plastic paper in it, in all of my turntables because I don't want to cause more scratches if they already have scratches or cause further scratches if they don't. So, yeah. It's got just the stains that, you know, the Fortify adapter has been in there for several years so it caused some stains okay now here I don't have enough light on this side let me try to get this light here there's a couple stains here on top See those stains? But it's in fantastic shape. Okay, now I'm gonna check on the anti skating. Just bear with me for one second, please. I'll check on the anti skating so you make sure that the anti skating is fully functional, the toner is floating really nice. So just bear with me for one second, please. I think that's a really good angle right there. Okay, I'm gonna use the cartridge, a cartridge here. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make the tone arm float. Check on the anti skating. That's called the floating point or balancing act. So. That way we make sure that the anti-skating is fully functional. That's the most important part of a turntable. But there's a lot of important parts, but that to me that's the most important one. If the anti-skating is good, then you, you'll be able to enjoy your records or mix your records or whatever and get the best out of the turntable if your anti-skating is in perfect conditions. So to me, it's just the most important part of a turntable, the anti-skating.
Okay, now it's floating. That's a, like a floating point. That's perfect right there. It's a good floating point. We're going to use the anti skating now. We're going to move it. It's really nice, really receptive. Let's bring it in and bring it out. Bring it in. Bring it out, bring it in, bring it out. Really nice. This is a beautiful anti skating. Then I'm going to add some weight on it. I'm going to add three grams on it. And I'm going to show you how it tracks down on a record. the lever here okay there we go I'm gonna use a lever make sure it's smooth there we go it's really smooth really nice Track the tracks down really, really nice. Right there. really nice so let's check on the pitch okay i'm gonna check on the pitch okay now just look at those dots i'll be using the pitch i'm gonna go minus eight now just look just look at the dots Pitch feels like butter. It feels fantastic. I'm gonna go plus eight now. Just look at those dots. Extremely responsive, really nice. I'm going to reset it here. Goes back to the center. I'm going to go all the way down to plus 8 and I'm going to reset that. So check the dots. Perfect pitch. Both speeds. 83, 45. Okay. There we go. Let me clean the tone arm because I, I don't want to leave any fingerprints when I mounted the cord reached. So, Ooh, sorry about that. That's not a big deal. The only problem when something like this happens is that you can screw up your uh, your needle. So, just try to be careful. Okay. All right, what else? Uh, I think this is it. Yep. I'm going to show you how it uh, how it stops, you know, and starts. I'm going to remove the uh, the the uh, rubber mat because that's it's going to add some weight. But on this model, you can actually adjust the brake mechanism here. There's a a hole here that says brake, and you can adjust the brake mechanism there. Starts and stops pretty good. 
that need not, that need a little bit of adjustment but it's not it's nothing serious okay now 45 it's pretty good this is all about your preferences I mean if you like the turntable to stop really accurately you know really fast you should uh, adjust and calibrate the brake if not, this is uh, this is fine. I mean, if we, if you're gonna use a, a big uh, rubber mat like a like a thick one, a thick rubber mat, it's not gonna stop that accurately because the thick ones are really heavy. So even this slim slim one adds a little bit of weight onto the platter, so it's not gonna be the same. So okay, this is it. And uh, okay, let me show you the uh, serial number. Again. Okay, so have a wonderful day. Take care, girls and guys out there interested. Please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here to offer you the best possible service. Have a wonderful day. Take care. I uh, apologize for the hesitation and shakiness. Sometimes it gets really bad, so bye.